Let's talk about how we can do implosions or smoke suction using pyro in Houdini. Inside of this geometry node I already have a smoke source set up, which is just a polygon sphere with a density attribute and a velocity attribute, and I'm turning that into a volume using the volume rasterize attributes node. I also have this switch if node, which is going to switch to the second input, which has nothing in it, if the frame is anything else than frame 1. So we can see that on frame 1 we have our volume, but it's going to disappear from frame 2 and for the rest of the frames. This is going to allow me to only source the density and velocity volume on the first frame. To begin, let's create a pyro solver. And if we come to this sourcing tab, we can just remove the volumes we do not need, so burn and temperature. And let's also increase the source scale on this velocity. I also want to come into this fields tab and just turn off dissipation. We can see we have a regular boring smoke sim. In order to have the smoke get sucked into a location that we specify, we can use something called a divergence volume. So let's create another sphere. And I'm going to have this be a primitive sphere with a one by one by one radius. And this is the same size as our original smoke source sphere. I'm going to turn it into a VDB volume using the VDB from Polygon's node. And turn off distance VDB. And let's make this a fog VDB called divergence. I also want to check this fill interior option which is basically going to have the values gradually increase towards the center of this volume because we want the suction to be strongest at the center. I'm going to merge this in with our density source and in order to bring this into our smoke sim I'm going to come to this sourcing tab and create a new source and the source volume will be called divergence and the target field will also be called divergence. And I also like to, to set the operation to copy. In order to illustrate what this does, let's just increase the source scale to something really high and hit play. And we can see that the smoke is expanding away from the center of this divergence vol volume we just created. But we want the opposite of this, right? We want the smoke to be sucked inwards instead of expanding outwards. So we can actually set this source scale to a negative value. Let's try something like minus five and hit play again. And this is basically it. We can see that our smoke is getting sucked in to the center of our divergence volume. Let's increase the resolution. And I also just want to copy this parameter and paste it as a relative reference into our source volume, our pyro source, and also our voxel size on the divergence volume. Let's hit play again. And we can see that we basically have it. Something we can do is, if we come into this sourcing tab again, is to keyframe this source scale. If we do not want the divergence to be sourced from the beginning, so I'm going to temporarily just disable the sim by clicking this brain icon. Let's come to something like frame 12 and set a keyframe by alt-clicking. Set this to zero. And I want this suction to gradually turn on over span of 12 frames. So let's come to frame 24 and create another keyframe and set this to minus 15. If we re-enable our sim and hit play again, we can now see that the sim starts normal and then from frame 12 it's going to slowly get sucked into the center. Something else we can do is have the density get subtracted whenever it reaches the center of our divergence volume. And we can do this using a sync volume. So let's just take our divergence source and copy paste it and merge it in with our other sources. Instead of divergence, I want to call this sync. And in the sourcing tab again, let's create a source volume called sync. And this will be sourced into our density volume. But instead of adding density, we want this to subtract density. Let's hit play. If we look closely, we can actually see that this has removed a lot of smoke inside of this area where the volume is located. We can increase the source scale to see this closer. We can see that 
we basically have zero density at the center now. So let's just turn the size of this sphere to something low like 0.1 and turn the source scale back to 1. If I hit play again, you can see that we now have a implosion smoke suction effect. <laughs> 